Welcome to my Real Estate Insider, where I provide you with information and answers on the Edmonton real estate market. Every month, I'm going to answer these four questions about the Edmonton real estate market using the data from the MLS and a sprinkle of my opinion. These questions are, how fast are homes selling? How much are homes selling for? Are homes selling for list price? And what are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton? In this video, we're going to be talking about what are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton. I'm Jen McPhilmy with Remax of Bruce City, and we're going to head over to my website where I keep the data, the answers, these questions, and all these Real Estate Insider videos so you can go back and reference it anytime that you want. So let's go there now. So hot neighborhoods in Edmonton for June 2022. I've determined this based on the number of homes sold by home type and by district. So as always, we're going to be checking out how things split up by district. You can reference the district map to understand the borders of each of the areas and then scroll down to see the chart of how many homes sold by district. First, looking at detached homes. The low number of sold was in central Edmonton at 77. And look at that. Wow. Southwest 229 sold last period. Moving on to attached. Those half duplexes, residential attached. Central was so small, it doesn't even show the number. You have to mouse over it. So 13 and Southwest 120. Wow. The Southwest is killing it for sales. Apartment condos, oh, Southeast was the low at 27. And this is where we see Central Edmonton come play ball at 69. I would say that it's because Central Edmonton doesn't really have a lot of detached homes or attached. And that's why we don't see high numbers there. So comparing the number of homes sold monthly, these are split by... Um, the categories of homes. So looking at the detached first, we can see that the number of homes sold in January was lower. Uh, we peaked in March at 1,310. And we've slowly come down, but really not too bad since we are still a little bit ahead of February. So looking at the attached, it looks like the same trend as the detached homes. Um, Low in January, peaks in March, and still down, but uh, still higher than February, which is great. Apartment condo, uh, it shifted a little bit. So we saw low sales in January, peaking in April, and then now we're down between the February and March numbers. Looking at the number of homes sold year over year, which is an important thing to look at to just take out that seasonal effect that those monthly numbers can have. Um, detached decrease actually from 2021 sales. 2021 sales saw 1,190 and only 1,072. So just over 100 uh, attached increased, but it looks pretty flat. Uh, last year, this time was 453, 468. And condo apartments increased in sales. So last May, we saw 224. And this May, we're at 288. That's promising for condo apartment sellers. Now, what you've been waiting for, the top five neighborhoods in Edmonton based on number of homes sold last month. Let's check it out. So the hot neighborhoods for June 2022, number five, the Hamptons, number four, Chappelle, number three, Walker, Number two, Rutherford, and number one, Summerside. I am not surprised that everybody is gathering towards this one and only lake community, like a lake that you can actually swim in. Um, it's very popular, and it seems to be at the top of the list most of the time. And as you can see, all the sales are in the southwest, so it's not surprising to see many of these neighborhoods in the southwest if you found this video to be helpful please share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos i post weekly thanks for watching bye